Hey, thank you so much for joining me. We are starting another 21 days of prayer. And as you know, prayer is a vital part of the life of Glen Meadows Baptist Church. And I know it's a vital part of your life and it's the way that we grow and the way that we interact with the Lord. And this is a great opportunity to prepare our hearts for Christmas. Um, the holiday seasons and all the scenes, Easter, Christmas, any other activities we go through uh, around the holidays is basically a reenactment of the story to allow the story to come deep within our heart. And oftentimes uh, Christmas is hijacked uh, by Santa Claus and by all the other uh, secular interpretations of our holidays. But in reality, it's all about Jesus. And so we are in a sense reenacting that and uh, patriarchs and forefathers and foremothers some time ago started the Advent celebration and just taking the anticipation of Christmas and looking at some major themes. And so that's what we're gonna do. Today, we're starting the theme of hope and how you know you just can't live without hope. Hope changes everything. And the very first instance of hope recorded in the Bible is in the book of Genesis. And it's a prophecy. And so today what I want to do is I want us to pray through this one passage and in your quiet time, in your uh, devotion time, if you would just take a moment to just look at Genesis chapter three, verse 15. You know the background story. God created everything perfect. God created Adam and Eve in not only with great relationship with each other, but a relationship with himself, the Lord God Almighty. They talked with him, they walked with him, they experienced his his presence to the fullest. and But you know what happened. He gave them the command to uh, subdue everything on the planet, uh, the garden, the animals, but and you can eat of any of the trees of the garden except the one in the middle, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And the day you eat of it, you shall surely die. And that's exactly what happened. And from that moment on, it started a whole rescue mission. It started God's benevolent love in action towards us. And the Lord, describes that, he hints to that in a, in a very kernel, in a very nugget, while he's telling them the curses. And so he, he's talking to Adam, he's talking to Eve, he even talks to the serpent. But he's talking uh, to the serpent, he says, then the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you are cursed more than any livestock and more than any wild animal. You will move on your belly and eat dust all the days of your life. And in verse 15, Here's the promise and here's the hope. He says, I will put hostility between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. He will strike your head, but, he, but, but you will strike his heel. And so right there is a promise that something is gonna happen that's gonna make everything right. And obviously you and I know it's the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, the seed of Eve, is, is ultimately our Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. And in this Advent season, our hope is all in Jesus, the one who conquers the enemy. Notice here that all of this comes after a major fall. Now, there's something true about you and me, and we have all fallen. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. We've disappointed other people. You may have even disappointed yourself. The reality is, all of us have, are dealing with fall, failure and a fall. And if you're not, uh, maybe you're not aware, but if you're not, uh, you're dealing with somebody who has fallen. And so here's a great passage in the Christmas time, just to look at, look, even in the midst of our failures, God sent his son to rescue us from the curse, not only of our own sin, but from the activity of the enemy. And so this hope is essential. And I pray that as you, as you pray through this, here's some things you might be praying about is the anticipation of all of the curse being wiped away. Every tear, every pain being wiped away because Jesus has come. God bless you and have a good time in prayer. Amen.